Um, as always, you know, Indiana's really good to win here on the road against a really well-coached team, a team that was been playing great. Um, thought our guys had to fight through a lot of adversity today. I was proud of them. They stuck together. Uh, but Indiana's really good. Archie does a great job. They're tough, talented. Um, and uh, we were connected today. I love the fact that we all rebounded. like the fact that everyone got in, made valuable contributions. Our bench was great. And uh, now we're on to um, Michi Michigan State in three days. It's going to be another tough challenge ahead. Start off with Jerry and then Bobby. Steve, you don't, you don't make uh, many changes to your starting lineup. Why did you make the changes you did? And how, how do you think of the way everyone responded? I liked how we played. And, you know, it helped us on the backboards. Um, I liked how the guys came off the bench and responded. Um, you know, you make changes when you feel like there's a need for it. And we weren't getting off to good starts at the beginning of games. Um, but we, we were real connected today. A credit, you know, to our guys kind of grinding through a um, tough time and uh, figure out a way to win in a, in a place we haven't had any, any success here on the road. Steve, can you talk about Joe's game? He's not been in double-digit scoring for the past four games, really came alive today. How much did that mean to the team and, you know, the overall energy on the court? Well, I mean, you know, Gio's a good player. And, um, you know, again, I thought everyone, really everyone had great numbers today. I really, and we haven't been rebounding well, a huge stat for us. And, you know, Gio was very involved. Uh, couldn't take him off the court, you know, at, at a couple points. Needed some breaks, but I thought we were, you know, again, real connected. And it wasn't just him. I thought Miles did an unbelievable job. You know, Trace Jackson Davis, one of the best players in the country, averages 20 points a game um, and has had 30s in games. Um, did a really good job, you know, on him as best you can do. Um, you know, Miles stepped up. Paul does all the things you need him to do. I thought Caleb gave us great energy. I loved, you know, Jacob gave us great energy off the bench. Cliff was a real bright spot in the first half. And, um you know, and Ron Harper, the whole game, you know, was very involved vocally and, and to grab 12 rebounds, a huge, um, huge lift for us. We'll go to Fonseca and then Richie. Uh, Steve, this game snaps a five-game losing streak, and how much of a weight off your guys' shoulder does it feel just to get back in the win column? I think it probably takes a weight off you guys. Stop asking me those questions. So probably takes a weight off your, your shoulders too. But, you know, it's a tough league, and uh, – you know, our guys have heard it enough, so they know. But, uh, you know, I was real proud of them today. They they uh, played a tough team on the road that's coming off a, a great win. And uh, they fought the whole time, you know, fought through adversity, fought through foul calls, fought through the other team making some big shots. Um, you know, it was, a good, it was a good team, Rutgers effort today, and, and everyone chipped in. So we can now start hopefully another streak. Steve, I know you kind of just touched on it, but Harper just had a career high in rebounds. How important is it to get him more involved on the glass? Well, I mean, it's, it's really important. We've we've been getting beat on the glass, but, you know, it's it's everybody, too. You know, and it's not just Ron's job, but tonight he really, uh, even up until the last possession, you know, grabbed the big, grabbed the big rebound and, you know, to kind of wrap it up. But, uh, you know, everyone has to do it. It's team. It's a team stat rebounds. Um you know, and, and the box outs are really important, too. So even the guys that didn't get the rebounds today, they boxed out their guy so he wouldn't get it. And I thought we did a great job of, of finishing finishing those possessions with great block outs against a really good, you know, rebounding team. We can go to Aaron Brightman and then back to Jerry. Uh, Coach, how, how much did uh, do you think it helped having short rest from the last game and kind of building a little bit of momentum offensively at the down, down the stretch, even though you fell short against Penn State, being able to get back on the court quickly rather than having a week break like you've had lately? Yeah, I mean sometimes it's really good. You know, I think you know in this league too, you got to keep you know keep moving forward. Every team is very different. Um, you know, but our guys bounce back. Um, and I thought they were really you know we made the extra passes. I mean we had you know. 15 assists, the ball really didn't stick. It moved, um, and guys got, you know, some good looks. Even the ones that we didn't make uh, were very good looks. But, you know, it was our defense, really. When we needed to get stops, we did, you know, down the stretch, and that was very important. We didn't do that against Penn State. and uh, Obviously, again, we didn't rebound. So we got to continue in those areas, getting better, and, 
if we rebound and if we defend and string together some stops, um, you know, the ball will go in. And, you know, we got to the free throw line too tonight. Not, you know, not a lot, but is, we at least matched the other team's free throw attempts. And, and that was a huge key for us too. So we were defending without fouling. Steve, okay. can you, can you uh, take us through how your postman did defending uh, Trace? Obviously, that was a key matchup, Miles and Cliff, and uh, how you thought that impacted the game? Yeah, I mean, I thought, you know, they knew how good he was. I mean, it's no secret to anybody. Um, he's so good, and he's so good at drawing fouls, too. So, huge key for both those guys where, you know, to defend him without fouling. I mean, we lost him in the zone one time. He got, you know, an alley-oop dunk, a couple putbacks he got, but... You know, when he caught the ball in, in, in the post, I thought we did a really good job of being alert and digging down. Our guards played with great length tonight, too. Um, you know, for us to get, you know, eight steals against that team doesn't turn the ball over a lot. Um, you know, was a, was a really good sign about our activity, you know, around those guys. But, uh, you know, Miles is a good player, and he's a good defender, too. And he went straight up a bunch of times. He challenged challenged him at the rim and Cliff can do the same thing and Cliff gave us great energy too so um, you know just again a good team effort our guards had to help too you can't just stop him with with one guy uh, Bobby and then Brian Fonseca coach the body language the guys seem to be really much better from the beginning what do you think went into the difference tonight in that energy and the way they carried themselves yeah I mean you know these guys have been through a lot of you know, a lot, a lot this year. And uh, they were had a real good focus today, but they've had good energy, you know, in other games too. But, you know, when you're not as playing as well as, as you would like, um, you guys, you know, you look at that, that kind of stuff more. Um, I thought they didn't, they didn't let it affect them today. If the ball went in or not, we just continued to play our defense and, and our rebounding and be connected. And I think that's a really, you know, important step for us. Steve looked like Geo played on the ball more uh, tonight. Did did that help in the ball movement, and, and did that make him play more comfortable? I guess. No, I mean I really like I, I thought everyone just moved the ball. You know, I thought it was you know great, and, and Paul does a good job too. Of runners and JY came in and did a good job too. So, um, you know, I like I like the fact that the ball never stuck in anybody's hands. When guys were open, you know, we made the extra pass, threw it into the post. Um, we cut down on our, you know, dribbles. So, you know, when, when they share the game like that and they're connected, but connections start, you know, on the defensive end. They'll be more connected on the offensive end if they are on the defensive end. And they were connected on that end of the floor today, and it, it goes both ways. Once you do that, they're usually more connected, you know, on the offensive end. Guys, we'll let Coach go on that. Appreciate it. Guys, I always appreciate you guys being on. All right, you guys have a great day.